Hi there, in this video, I am gonna show you how to create NFT portfolio website like this. So, this is the website that we are gonna build today. Using ready template and free plugins. In order to build this website, we are gonna take six simple steps. The first step is to launch our website. To do that, we need a domain name and web hosting. The first step is to get a domain name and web hosting. What is a domain name and web hosting? A domain name is a name or the address of your website. For example, Google's domain name is google.com. YouTube's domain name is youtube.com. And web hosting is where all of your files are stored. In this video, I am gonna show you how to get one year of free domain name and 60% off web hosting. So, open a new tab and go to alexchine.com for slash hostgator, then hit enter. Or just click the first link in the description. Hostgator is where we will get free domain name and web hosting. Why hostgator? In my opinion, they are the best web hosting out there, due to their customer service and their affordable price. To get started, just click, get started. As you see, we have here, three plans. The first plan, which is a hatching plan, you can build, one single website, you also, will get, a free domain name, and, free SSL, the second and third plan, you can host unlimited website. As you see, they recommended the second plan, so, choose your plan. In my case, since I want to build one website, I am gonna choose, the hatching plan. The first step is to choose a domain, so put your domain right here, then choose an extension, in my case, I will go with the .com. As you see, I am getting a one year free domain name. Then, we can scroll down to domain privacy. Domain privacy hides all of your information, like, who owns this website? If you don't care about someone looking out your website and you want to save $14 a year, you can uncheck it. So, I'm just gonna uncheck it. The second step is to choose a hosting plan. We already chose the hatching plan and make sure that you choose how long you want your website to be hosted. The more months you choose, the more discount you will get. If I choose 12 months, that will be $35, which means every month you will pay $2.90. The third step is to create your HostGator account so that you can always log in. Just put your email and create a security pin, just put four numbers.
The fourth step is to enter your billing info. You can pay, credit card or PayPal, in my case I will use a credit card. Enter your first name, last name, phone number, address, country, city and zip code. Just enter your MasterCard info. As you see, my website will be hosted for only $33 for 12 months. Which means every month I will pay $2.70. Finally accept. Terms of service, then hit checkout now. So just scroll down, click skip, then click close. This is your cPanel. All you have to do is just click install WordPress. Then click install now. So just put your site name and your site description, like, what is your site about? Don't worry, you can always change these. The next step is to create a username and password so that you can always log in. And also put your email right here. Scroll down then click install. Once you installed WordPress, your website should now be alive on the internet to check that. All you have to do is click this link or open the link in a new tab. Sometimes it might look like this. And what this means is the website has to propagate and what that means is that HostGator has to take your new domain name and it has to send it out across the entire world to let every server in the world know that hey, this new domain name exists and it's now active. And this process can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. Just come back every 10 minutes and refresh the page. So, after 10 minutes, now my website is live and everyone on the internet can access. To log in to your site, all you have to do is just type next to your site's address for slash wp hyphen admin. Then press enter. Once you're here, just sign in or enter the username and password you created when you've been installing WordPress. Finally, this is the dashboard or the back end of your site. This is where you can control your website. The second step is to install theme and plugin. All you have to do is go to appearance themes. Then search a theme called Hello Elementor. Just click install. Then activate the theme. Next is to install plugins. To install plugins, go to plugins, add new. Then search a plugin called Invato. Install the plugin. Then activate it. The third step is to import the template. So, to import the template, just click the first link in the description and it will take you to this page. This is where you can purchase the template and then download it. Before you download the template, you can take a preview of how the template looks. After you downloaded the template, make sure that you do not unzip it. So, to import the template, on your left, click where it says Elements. Then click Installed Kits. Then upload the template. After you upload the template, first make sure that you install the requirements. To do that, just click Install Requirements. Then click Install above selected requirements. The fourth step is to create pages. 
To create pages, first let's take a look at how many pages does the template consists of. If we take a look at this template kit, we see that this template has five pages with seven sub items. To create the same pages and the same sub items, go to Pages, then click Add New. From here, just type the name of the page. And make sure that you choose Elementor Full Width as template. Then publish. Again go back, click add new. Then type the name of the page. From here, I am gonna automate the process. Finally, after you created all of the pages, now it's time to create a menu. To do that, go to appearance, then menu. First, give a name to the menu. Next is to add pages, the menu we created. To do that click where it says, view all, then check select all. Then click add to menu. From here, you can ascend or descend the pages. And also you can create sub-items like this. After you've done, then make sure that you check, header is a display location. Click where it says, save menu. The fifth step is, to create a header and footer. To do that, first, we need to install a plugin, go to plugins, add new, then search a plugin called, Elementor header and footer. Click install, then activate the plugin. Before we import the template, first go to Elements, Installed Kit, then make sure that you import Global Kit Styles. The next thing that we need to do before we import anything is go to Setting, Reading, then choose Home as Home Page. Lastly, make sure that you save changes. Next, to create header and footer, go to Appearance, then click Elementor Header and Footer Builder. First to create a header, click where it says, Add New, then choose the type of template, which is a header, where you want to display the header and user roles. After that, click Publish. Then click Edit with Elementor. From here, we can import the header, to do that click the Envato icon. Then click View Installed Kit. Scroll down. Then insert the header template. After you inserted, first save or update the changes. To preview changes, click this eye icon to see it. Next to create a footer, go to Appearance, then click Elementor Header and Footer Builder. Click where it says, Add New. Then choose the type of template, which is footer, this time. Where you want to display the footer and user roles. After that click publish. Then click edit with Elementor. From here, we can import the header, to do that click the Envato icon. Then click view installed kit. Scroll down.
Then insert the footer template. After you inserted, first save or update the changes. To preview changes, click this eye icon to see it. In the final step, let's see how to import the whole template. To do that, go to Pages. All Pages. From here, choose the page that you want to import. First, let's import the home page. To do that, click Edit. Again click edit with Elementor. From here, we can import the home page. To do that click the Envato icon. Then click view installed kit. Scroll down. Then insert the home template. After you inserted, if you want to make changes just click the text or image that you want to replace. Then on your left make the changes that you want to make. After you've done save or update the changes. To preview changes, click this eye icon to see it. From here, you can customize, change, and replace everything. Finally, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, I'll try to answer. If you want to see more tutorials like this, just make sure to subscribe, so that you won't miss any of them.